Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay Hines, and if the audio sounds like crap, uh, you would not be wrong. I have been struggling with getting decent audio in my videos for quite a while, uh, from just using the on-camera mic to using all of this, <laughs> which is a little better. But today, uh, we're hoping to really alleviate that and really take my audio up a notch with the Video Micro by Rode. So like I said, I have been struggling with getting some decent audio in my videos. Normally I use this uh, little Pell mic here, but these, these wires and plugging it in and clipping it on my shirt, I just, I hated the hassle that I really just can't stand it. Plus it's also not convenient for vlogging as well. So yesterday I stopped at the store and I picked up the Rode Video Micro. We're gonna open this up, uh, see the build quality, uh, slap it on the camera, do a little testing around the apartment and see how well it sounds. All right, so let's get her opened up. I got my little knife here. We're gonna cut through some of this glue. This is my first Rode product. I do not have a lot of equipment right now. I'm kind of starting over. Wow, I almost stabbed myself. Um, kind of starting over my photo business recently. Um, I've been a photographer for close to 20 years. Um, a few years ago, I had sold a lot of my stuff to pay off some bills. And I'm finally at a point in my career where I can start getting back into this. Uh, I do a lot of photography and video work for my nine to five job. So uh, it's not like I've been completely out of the game, but uh, for personal projects and uh, doing anything, any other side work, I am really excited to start getting back into it. So we've got uh, the dead cat. Whoever named it a dead cat needs to have a stern talking to, um, but it already has the dead cat uh, attached to it. So we're gonna take that off. We'll get into the box in a second here. I just wanna see the quality of this here. Uh, so that was on there pretty good. I don't feel like that would ever fall off or fly off in any heavier wind. Um, there's a little probably inspected by number 17, I guess, on there. It is attached to the little shock mount that it comes with, which is really nice. Uh, that's another thing that I was really impressed with. Um, the kit that comes with this, uh, you get a shock mount and a little windscreen. I'm not calling it a cat. You know, this isn't plastic. This is, uh, you know, this feels really good. Uh, solid build quality. I'm gonna throw this back on here. Um, I'm gonna use this mostly for vlogging and other videos. And also comes with a small 3.5 millimeter audio cable to plug directly into the camera or external recording device, whatever you may have. So what we're gonna do is we are going to slap this bad boy on the camera, see how it sounds in here, in the office. This office acoustics is terrible. I have no sound dampening on the walls. I have no carpet. Everything is very echoey. You're probably like tearing your hair out listening to me talk right now, but hopefully this little guy is going to, it's not gonna be great, perfect. It's gonna be a little bit better, so we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so I've got the Rode Video Mic uh, attached to the top of my camera and plugged in. Uh, you should tell, be able to tell the difference in the audio here. Uh, again, it is really echoey in this room, so this isn't the best place to test this out. Um, some outside stuff would be really good, so we're probably going to try and do that. Uh, other than that, uh, let's go see how it sounds. Alright, so I'm just walking around outside my apartment complex. Uh, I do not have the microphone plugged in right now. Um, just using the on-camera microphone. Um, I am shooting with the Sony a7C, um, just for any reference or comparison. Um, it is a bit noisy out here with traffic. Um, there's construction behind me as well. But well, let's go ahead and plug in the microphone and see how she fares outside. Hopefully that is going to focus in a little better and hopefully drown out some of the background noise and uh, be a little more focused. Again, this is predominantly what I'm going to be using this for is uh, outside video. Wow, it's really bright outside. I did not have an ND filter. <laughs> Holy crap, that is really bright. I guess I'm some shade. Here we go. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, so I'm like at F22 right now, I'm as, uh, as small as I can go, but um, let's go back inside 
uh, see how this sounds compares to being inside the Echoey office and uh, go from there. Okay, so after listening to that, you can definitely tell the difference better inside than you could outside, which I thought was um, a little bit surprising. Um, but what I've noticed is the camera's microphone is actually pretty good. Um, again, this is, you know, bottom line external microphone, um, external shotgun microphone. So, you know, I wasn't expecting super day and night uh, differences, but uh, being outside, um, I should have had the wooden screen on for one, um, but you know, it, it's a little bit better. It's just mostly this is going to be to get the freaking cable off of me. You know, I just, I, I hated that. I don't like having things clipped on me. Uh, so I really wanted something that was going to be a lot easier to use just to keep on the camera. I don't have to mess with anything. Something that's really easy to just pick up and go. I, I don't have to worry about cables and stuff. But overall, I think this was a good first step into getting more convenient <laughs> and more clear audio uh, for my videos, especially if I'm going to be walking around doing vlogs, um, doing instructional videos and going from room to room, going outside and stuff like that. So thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Jay Hines. We'll see you guys next time. Stay focused.